Good evening and thanks for watching tonight. We begin with a story ABC4 has been following for several weeks now. Tabiona High School facing allegations of its fans making inappropriate slurs at sporting events against other schools. ABC4's Brittany Johnson traveled to Tabiona to meet the head coach of the men's basketball team to get his side of the story. She joins us now live in studio. Brittany. Well, allegations of racial taunts by fans, death threats from a coach, and an alleged hallway showdown. For the first time, we're getting to hear from Tabiona's head basketball coach about these alleged incidents and why he says everyone in Tabiona is innocent except for one person. The city of Tabiona tainted by racial slurs. People in Tabiona are good people. They're not racist. Tonight, Lee Gines, head coach of Tabiona High School's boys basketball team, wants to set the record straight. There was no racial taunts in this gym. But two high schools beg to differ. Manila High School and Intermountain Christian School both say Tabiona fans shouted racial slurs during games. ICS says some of the racial comments were also directed to their head coach, Tim Drisdom. Gines does admit the taunts against Drisdom happened. A person made a mistake. How do we move past that? We kind of brush by the death threat and go to the racism thing. Giants claims when both teams shook hands, one of his players was threatened by Coach Drisdom. My player said, he said, boy, you ever do that again, you will lose your life. And so, and I didn't hear it. I'm not saying I heard it. Under sworn testimony, Drisdom addressed the allegations during a hearing in front of the Utah High School Athletic Association's executive committee. I've never threatened to kill anybody in my entire life. And I just told him, you know, you don't disrespect another adult like that. And you're not about that life. Okay. And that was it. And then when he yanked his hand, then I yelled it again. Gines also says he was threatened by an ICS parent in the hallway during halftime of one of the games. They came charging at us, me and Mr. Wagner. The video also appears to show Gines heading down the hallway and also being held back. All of these incidents happened before Tabiona went on to win the state championship. But Gines still feels winning state is one of the reasons Manila and ICS are making these claims of racism and unsportsmanlike conduct. I think that's part of it. I think there's some sour grapes there. Well, in my hand is Taviona School's fan code of conduct policy. They tell me it was written up following the incidents with Manila and ICS. Now it's posted on our website, abc4.com. Emily John, back to you.